Hey, what's up? We're Grotnav. Greg and I, we're gonna live in a house in Cortland. Greg, <laughs> Greg stopped going to Cortland. The other two people that were supposed to live in the house also stopped going to Cortland. Then I was the last person to stop going there. We were making music together for about a couple weeks. We just kind of decided. Yeah, that, the name just stuck. I was yeah, like, we like Grotnav yeah, sounds like a cool band name. Let's yeah. keep it. I'm gonna have to say Devout. It's a, it's a Bob. I'd say pro probably only Natural. Honestly, just because it's so rocking. Yeah. Curveball. The Emperor, I think. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> no, like seriously, like, what is this I don't know. We didn't have any plan for that song. I think The Vow is the best track on the album, but my favorite is probably Toy Heart. It's listenable over like as a standalone song, you know? Like if you had, if I had to pick, you know, you, you would say as a single, you know, release The Vow. Because the vow kind of builds the whole album. Yeah, like, yeah, it, yeah. I think, I, I think, I think that it, that itself is kind of the answer. Like the vow, you know, kind of just caps it, it off. Kind of sounds like the ending of a movie. Like, right. Yeah. Right. It up, right. It's very it's cinematic. Movies, right. It, it wraps it up. Mm -hmm. in it's a funny because nice in the demo that we did of it, um, we actually orchestrated it so like the last thing on the album was just us saying "Hey." Yeah. It's like "Hey." Kind of it's kind of, yeah, it's kind of a collective. Yeah. For this record in particular, um, like, I wrote the one and only natural. Yeah. Like, I, I just wrote them in my bedroom, you know? Mm -hmm. And I showed them to the guys, and, like, they were pretty much, like, 80% complete, minus a few lyrical tweaks from these guys and whatnot. But mm -hmm. And then, yeah. you know, these guys came up with bass and whatnot, and Devout, which was, like, a pretty much a solid collective of what we were all... Yeah, like, I wrote the lyrics one day at work. Right. I, I sat there, right. wrote a poem at work. And yeah, Matt showed it to me, and then like the next day, I recorded a, a rough demo just of me playing, you know, at, like the instruments. And Matt was like, "Okay, yeah. teach that to me." And then it, it just it took off from there. Yeah, yeah, it exploded into. And then they what sent it was. me a demo, and I was at, I was <laughs> yeah. at school in New Paltz, and I started freaking out. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's like that's it's it. Like, like no that's way. the sound. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, that's, that's where we cool. are now. <laughs> So Jeff has a has a family member um, yeah. who who lives up in Buffalo. He was like, "Yeah, you gotta go to this this recording studio, Watchman Studios, Doug White. You know, he's the man." So we we book we book the dates. You know, you walk in, you immediately see a freaking platinum record. It's like okay, it's got the vibe. Yeah, it, it's just this quaint little little studio. Yeah, it's, it's, it's one, just it's one story. You know, we walk in at, at 10 a.m. We hang out for an hour. You know, we just get settled in and get chatting with Doug and whatnot. We record a few live tra live takes and then yeah. overdub everything else and yep. I I'm a huge Greta Van Fleet fan. As big as they are, if we ever got the chance, I think it'd be cool to work with them. I feel like I could have a shot at making like a movie soundtrack. That could be kind of interesting. Ooh, Ooh. Tame Impala. Tame yep. Impala. Ooh. yep. Yep. Good answer. Mom Jeans. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Mom, Jean. Mom Jeans yeah. tours with a lot of like other up and coming bands. Pretty frequently, yeah. and I feel like it's kind of attainable, and they're, um, I'm a huge fan of it. Rage Against the Machine. Back together. <laughs> <laughs> How are you gonna do that? Why don't we just cover Rage Against the, the Machine? Of Pratt and I, we'll be like, as a band, we'll just get huge. <laughs> <laughs> Our sound was just lacking. It was empty. Sure. We really wanted to be a rock and roll band, just play rock and roll. So we definitely needed a bassist just for the depth and the thickness. All of us knew that he would be the perfect person to, you know, try to hop in, play live, and then eventually yeah. uh, join the band. That's that's exactly what has happened. Up until recently, yeah, yeah, I was just, you know, I, I played live shows. You know, it was just, it was, I have some of my best memories playing with these guys. Yeah, Both so, yeah, so Elliot did... The, the cover. Yeah. Um, it's like a, a live tree and a dead tree, kind of showing the duality of the album a little bit. Right, so, tarot readings and all that, they're just interesting, I guess. Yeah, here, yeah. So we got the one, you know, a classic. Toy Hearts, just for the Toy Parts. The Emperor. The only natural single cover. Oh, yeah. Devout, which is like one of my favorites. I think it's great. Yeah, this one is sweet. I really love That's this one. That's great. Yeah. Boom, yeah, so this is, this All is Cold Rock. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, Elliot made these for us. Yeah. And it's cool, like, you know, going online and like seeing them. Spotify is enough. We don't need YouTube.
Shut up. No, I'm just <laughs> but also going back to the getting more serious thing, yeah, definitely. We yeah. want to start making and start branding ourselves more. You know, yeah, as, as a serious be... band that has serious uh, content and, and music serious goals and, and ambitions. Yes, exactly. Yeah. You know, and, it, and I mean, all of us look at it as our career, so we want everyone else to as well. Thank you. You guys have been doing an amazing job with with spreading the word, and we couldn't be more grateful for, uh, for everything. Everything, yeah. yeah. It's um, even without asking, you know, people are buying uh, the the album on on Bandcamp and stuff like that. Yeah, and it's like it's we, really cool. We played a show like you know back in the fall, and you know, Lucidity. We were playing Lucidity, yeah. and oh my people God. in the crowd were singing, singing it. it. Yeah, and I had never experienced that great. in my life before. And Genuinely, hearing like I was literally crying on stage. Yeah. Like I was like, it's such a euphoric, cool, <laughs> you know? such a euphoric like, experience. Yeah, keep doing it. Man. Yeah, absolutely. You guys keep it rock. up. You guys rock. are awesome. That's it. You guys yeah. are the best. We're, we're we're shooting for the stars, baby. We're, we're, <laughs> we're coming for you. And if drink you, Perrier. If you want some Perrier, you can click right here. <laughs> no. Right here for some Perrier. Right here. <laughs> Alright, well, first of all, smash that motherfucking like button. Hit that smash like button. Dude. Smash that yeah. shit. Subscribe right down here, right down below. Hit yeah, the hit, the hit the bell. Hit it, hit the bell. bell. That's the ring, ring, the ring. Ding, ding. Oh, my that's right. <laughs> yeah.